took me like a hurricane Fanned an old forgotten flame There's nobody else to blame It's you, just you And I don't mind giving up my time For a minute of your love the year SC and Pete met, they were both living in dorms that happened to share a mutual wall. Early on in that crisp fall semester, Ashley and her friends began hearing knocking coming from, the, from their bathroom wall. After putting in what was likely little thought, they decided that, th that someone must be trying to communicate with them through code. And despite their general lack of knowledge of Morse code, they naturally decided to begin knocking back. After a few weeks of this monotonous wall knocking, they started to hear voices coming from the other side of the wall asking things like, who are you? And do you want to hang out? to which they obliged. And as their friends put it, from that point on, Pete and Ashley were inseparable, almost magnetic, going out of their way to take walks on campus and hold hands together, anything to be able to spend more time with each other. And as it turned out, no one was ever actually knocking. It was just Pete's friend Cole, who's here with us today, cleaning his razor by banging it against their wall, <laughs> as one does. <laughs> Yes, it's beautiful. <laughs> oh, that was a lot. <laughs> I was, yeah, I, was, I could like sense it. I was like, oh my God, you look beautiful. Thank God. I wish there were enough words and infinite time to accurately describe how much I love you. I'll start with this. On average, in a lifetime, we meet 10,000 people through even the smallest of interactions, some way, somehow. Two small town kids went to just a small college where our paths crossed and you ended up here with me. And that is the most powerful and humbling fact I can accept. When I first met you in the spring of 2014, where that concrete wall separated us, your smile was the first thing that struck me. You smile with your entire face, your entire body. I was smitten immediately. I had never met anyone like you, anyone who made me feel the way you did, anyone who somehow reached the age of 19 without ever having had a sip of juice, <laughs> anyone so unapologetically themselves. You were and are one of a kind. I thought I was just infatuated, but quite clearly, I was simply in love. extraordinary thing I've ever done is fall in love with you. I'm pretty sure a lifetime with you still won't be enough time, but I'll continue to love you unconditionally and without hesitation for the rest of my days. After all this time, always. Life is reassuring, because I dream of experiences with you that I've not yet had. And I dream of you in places that I've not yet been. You changed everything that I know. What I thought I needed, I no longer need. And what I thought I wanted, I no longer want. So long as I have you, all will be right. I vow to never lose sight of your smile, your eyes, your heart, or your soul. I vow to always protect you, Ashley. And I vow to proudly call you my wife forever. I love you. It is 
my sincere pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Let me get back to your heart.